Since launch, Heroes of the Storm has come a very long way. This progress is in large part from the constant flow of input and feedback from Heroes players all over the world. The game we have today is significantly different from the game we launched back in 2015. We've added a ton of new heroes, with some innovative, game-changing mechanics that add new dimensions to the MOBA genre. Things like Ragnaros becoming a fearsome raid boss as he takes over buildings and rains fire on his enemies. And Cho'Gall, proving that two heads are sometimes better than one. We've learned and improved how we do hero and talent design, and along the way, reworked a massive number of existing heroes. We also added new in-game mechanics, like quests, which allow for personal power spikes. We pushed ourselves to keep innovating on battlegrounds. That's how we ended up with a map like Towers of Doom, where you don't even push the core directly. Since launching, we've also completely reworked our ranking system, added new game modes like Unranked Draft and Brawl, improved our matchmaking and many other system changes. We also leveled up Heroes Esports in a major way this year, with the launch of the Heroes Global Championship. The HGC spans most of the year, with serious prize money on the line for players and broadcast nearly every week for esports fans who love seeing the game played at the highest level. Of course, Heroes is also about smashing together all of our different game universes. So we've taken you deep into the burning hells of Diablo with the Eternal Conflict, we brought StarCraft to the Nexus with Machines of War, and we've got even more of that in the works. So it's been an awesome couple of years. And with all the updates and improvements we've made, as well as some of the upcoming ones I'm about to discuss, the Heroes of the Storm that we launched back in 2015 is a thing of the past. We're now entering the era of Heroes of the Storm 2.0. This is the next stage in the game's growth. Heroes 2.0 reflects everything we've been building towards since launch, as well as our current design philosophy and a bunch of extensive plans for future content. I'm excited to tell you about some of those plans right now. So first off, we're changing the way our out-of-game progression system works. Previously, your experience level with each hero capped out at 20, and there was a punishing XP curve at the later levels. We also had a separate player progression system, which basically became meaningless once you hit player level 40. With Heroes 2.0, we've removed the cap on hero levels, and going forward, your player level will now simply be the total sum of all hero levels you've attained. The new XP system also smooths out the XP curves so that you get meaningful hero progression both early and later in your time with the hero. So the next major change I want to highlight is the reward system. The previous system had progression rewards that just weren't as compelling as we would have liked. Mostly gold and unlocking skin or mount variations. We have such a large amount of awesome items in the game, and we wanted to make those items available as part of the reward system. With that in mind, we're introducing loot chests into Heroes of the Storm. As you level up your heroes, you'll receive loot chests which can contain almost any item in the game. This includes things like legendary skins and even heroes themselves. And if you can't wait to get that hot new hero, skin, or mount, you can still purchase featured items with gems, which are the new currency that represent real money. In addition to making gems available for purchase, we'll also give you some at level 5 to get you started on your way. So, beyond all the awesome heroes, skins, and mounts we've already got in the game, we wanted to add even more ways to customize your game experience. That's why we're introducing announcers, banners, sprays, emojis, and voice lines into the game. These will also be available in loot chests and give you more ways of calling out great plays or making your mark on the battlefield. And if there's a particular cosmetic item you want, you can also forge that item directly by using the new shard currency that we're adding to the game. This is a separate currency for cosmetics. Gold will still be used to unlock heroes. Shards are received either from loot chests directly or as a result of receiving duplicate items. This forging system is an improvement over the previous setup in that you can now directly unlock almost any cosmetic item simply by playing the game. Previously, the majority of our cosmetic items had to be purchased with real money. To manage all these new items, we've made improvements to the shop, which we're now calling your collection. This is now home to all items you've unlocked, no matter how you receive them. Also, so that you can set up the best-looking combo of skin, mount, spray, and other cosmetics, we've added a loadout system that allows you to save multiple per-hero cosmetic loadouts that can be quickly selected before jumping into a game. I think we can all agree that proper skin mount color coordination is the main key to winning. 
You'll be able to learn more details about all these changes at heroesofthestorm.com. And even better, you'll actually be able to check everything out yourself in the Heroes 2.0 beta that we're putting up for testing today. So go check it out. And as I mentioned, Heroes 2.0 represents three things. It's how far we've come since the game's launch. It's the new system changes coming with this release. And it's also some really cool new content, including some new heroes and a new battleground that we're excited to reveal in the coming weeks. So we got a lot in the works, and we're not stopping there. In many ways, this is just the beginning for Heroes of the Storm. Heroes is a constantly changing, constantly adapting game. And we're going to continue to support and expand it with balance adjustments, gameplay improvements, and more. All of which we're going to continue to actively communicate to you moving forward. This is a new era for the game, with a bold vision for the future. And we cannot wait for you to see everything we have in store.